guess simply let the Grammy day chaos begin. Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I've been pacing my apartment because um, I could not sleep, right? Like I woke up about seven and usually I can go back to sleep. However, I could not, so I was just scrolling on my phone for hours and then I finally fell asleep about 10 and then I woke up at a, I set my alarm for 11 because I didn't want to like, I just wanted to get up. And Taylor changed her profile pictures to black and white. So I frantically called Natalie and woke her up. And I literally just opened my eyes, I swear to God too. Like I set my alarm for 11 because I, I couldn't sleep. I, I, I'm shaking. <laughs> Oh God! Remember, Sorry. Natalie. Remember when Taylor said, "I'll just have to make a better record." When Reputation wasn't nominated at the Grammys. Oh shit! <laughs> I am so flamboozled right now because, first of all, you guys know that Midnight's means the absolute world to me. Um, so today is like a big day. It's like Grammy day. It's, uh, Grammy day is always a big day, but like now Taylor Swift has just done this. And to a normal person, okay, great, she changed her per her p profile picture black and white. But, like, that's monument. I really think rep's coming. No, 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 I know rep's coming now. It's just, like, a matter of, like, when. Is she just going to tease it? Is she going to say something tonight? I'm going to... Because my point, my point is when Reputation wasn't announced or wasn't nominated for any Grammys... She said, I'm going to make a better record. Like, that's in Miss Americana. And then somebody else pointed out that she started the Men and Nights era with announcing an album at an award show. And then what if we close it out with her announcing Reputation? Like, I, I wasn't clowning until right this second. Like, at 11 o'clock when Taylor changed her profile picture is when I started clowning for rep. Tonight, that is. I thought, I think maybe sometime in February, but I was not expecting tonight because Midnight's has just been on the brain. Like we're focusing on Midnight's, but now we're like screaming. Anyways, I am up now, <laughs> obviously, and I'm gonna get ready for the day. Um, oh my God. All of Taylor's categories are going to be televised tonight except one, and that is the um, pop duo performance which is karma featuring ice spice is the nomination and like oh my god so i slept in thinking okay the chaos won't begin till later well i was wrong i should have known and if taylor wins at least one award tonight she gets her 13th grammy <laughs> i need midnights to win album of the year like i need air in my lungs not to be dramatic but so i'm sat with my cereal i'm also on facetime with emma I just had to tell, okay, so Haley called me and it's come to my attention that if Taylor wins her 13th Grammy tonight, it will be, the first award that will be announced is Karma featuring Ice Spice and not for me, not for me, all I think about is Karma. I wish I had any brain cells. But that could be her first award of the night, and that is a lyric in it. I'm going to scream. I'm going to eat my honey smacks and try and have some peaceful breakfast. I don't feel like that's going to happen. Mm -mm. I am ready for Grammy's Day. I have to be completely honest. I was going to straighten my hair. I was going to do my hair the whole nine yards. I just don't feel like it. It's Sunday, and I'm like, no, thank you. Um, so I have on my Taylor Midnight's hoodie, of course, because... Our girl is nominated for six Grammys, which is just like so insane. It's been so flamboozling this morning, um, but the best way possible because Taylor makes life so fun. So, and then I just have on my airy leggings. I'm basic today, but I did want to show you the bracelets I'm going to wear today. So I'm going to wear a mastermind bracelet that I made and I'm going to wear a lavender haze bracelet that my mom made me. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite bra bracelets that I've ever made. It says baby love on it. Baby love, I think I've been a little too kind. And then I'm gonna wear my Dancing With Our Hands tied one that my mom made me, and it's so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna wear that one too because 
Taylor's being sus. Taylor's being sus. So, so the plan right now is I'm going to go get coffee, number one. Number two, I'm going to go get lunch. And number three, I'm going to go to Target and wander around, see who doesn't love wandering around Target. Anyways, and then I definitely want to be home by the time that the um, Grammy pre-show starts, which means like they're announcing awards that aren't televised and Taylor's category is literally the first one. And if she wins that one, she wins her 13th Grammy. I'm gonna cry. I'm really gonna cry. Like, Taylor makes life so, what is that? Is that a spider? Oh no, that's a, that's a paint mark. Oh my God, I got scared for a second. Um, but Taylor makes life so fun. Like, I, I just love reliving the memories and as chaotic, as chaotic as this woman makes life, it's always so much fun. Anyways, before I get emotional, I'm gonna go and get some food and things like that and we're just gonna vlog. We're sticking with each other today because I have a feeling it's gonna be a wild ride. I was anticipating a wild ride, but I was not anticipating this wild ride. Yet here we are. <laughs> So I put on my rep ring, my rep snake ring, because I don't know what era we're supposed to be in right now. Taylor's profile picture is black and white, but Midnight's has six Grammy nominations, so I'm just like gonna celebrate both. Here we are, let's go to Target. If I could just get a medium iced coffee with cream and caramel, please. You guys, that was the cutest experience ever. So I'm wearing my Taylor hoodie, obviously. So I pulled up and the girl was like, oh my gosh, I've met you before. I remember you like you're the Taylor Swift girl. I was like, yes. Oh my gosh. She's like, I'm so excited for rep TV. I'm like, have you seen that she changed her profile picture? And she was like, no, I haven't. I've been here. Oh my gosh. She started freaking out at the window. She's like, thank you so much. You're like, you made my day. Like, um, I love that like the Swifties can communicate. So it just made me so happy. I love telling people like I love waking like Natalie up or like Emma up and being like hey guess what Taylor did like I'll never forget when like Folklore Evermore was announced like that was the funnest I've the most fun I've ever had if you will making a phone call and the coffee's so good oh my god and I love Duncan anyways I need to get a couple more Valentine's Day things in here I'm gonna go in here and see what we can what we can find today. I have no agenda. I might buy a Brita, honestly, um, instead of like buying reusable water bottles, but we shall see what we come out of here with. So, let's go. I'm gonna get this and put it on my counter for tea bags. It's so cute. Boop, boop, boop. One thing about me is I love to come look at the jelly cats even if I'm just looking. So Guys, I swear jelly cats are the cutest thing ever. Like, look at the little tiny dachshund. Oh my god. This monkey one looks exactly like a Build-A-Bear I used to have and I called him monkey ears. Like, I'm very tempted. They're so expensive, but they're so adorable. Guys, I popped in Walgreens and they have friends conversation hearts. Like, how freaking cute. Okay, you guys, so I am home now and I got my lunch. <laughs> I got a sweet tea. And not me being like, I just have to show you guys everything. Um, so, wandered around Target. I did buy a Brita, which I'm very happy that I did. Um, I think it was like 30 something, but it'll save me from buying water bottles constantly and I can just fill up my cup anyways like I, I like my target reusable um, water bottle this one um anyways this is what I drink out of all the time so it just seems like a practical purchase so I did buy a Brita and then I bought some cotton candy grapes and then I bought some cinnamon jelly parts they're very good and then I bought this adorable, oh my God, I'm obsessed. It was $3 and the dollar section is where I found this. Um, it's this little tea room and you can put all your little teas in here and I'm gonna set it up on my counter somewhere. It's adorable and um, I was thinking that I wanted to like maybe even create like a little tea bar somewhere in here. Like um, 
because I, I said to myself, well, maybe um, I will make like a little coffee bar in my apartment, but I just enjoy, my guilty pleasure is getting coffee out. I love my Dunkin', like I cannot refuse it. Um, so I feel like tea is definitely something I drink at home more often. So maybe I'll make a little, I have the hiccups, um, tea bar. But also I wanted to show you guys this. So yesterday my mom and I went to Home Goods and listen, look at this little frog. It's a St. Patrick's Day Anna Lee frog. And if you've ever seen these, some of them look really, really creepy. How this, however, this one, I had to have him. Like he was so, he's adorable. Um, so he just sits out. I don't have the heart to like even pack him away until like Valentine's Day is over. Like he's just adorable. So he looks, he looks like spring anyway. So I, I say that because I'm probably just gonna leave him out even after St. Patrick's Day, you know, and put him around with my Easter stuff. I'm like obsessed with him. Um, like I said, a lot of them are very creepy looking to me personally. Um, so I have two of them. I have a turkey because the turkey was the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then the frog was like cute. Anyways, I'm going to get my lunch and see where I can watch like the pre Grammy awards. I think they stream them on YouTube, but I need to figure it out. And I just want to say, I really, 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 really underline really want Kelsey Ballerini to win her first Grammy today. She just deserves it so much for rolling up the welcome mat like that transformed her career. And I just think that she deserves it. And I'd love to see her reaction. Anyways, it's 2.51. So I'm going to figure out where to watch it. And I'm so excited. You guys like Emma just texted me. She's like, it's feeling real at the Grammys here tonight. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's insane. I'm about to eat my lunch, but I wanted to show you guys a little unboxing that I did yesterday. I knew I was gonna be vlogging today and I thought I'll just insert it in here um, because I was way too excited yesterday to wait to even open it today in present time. I was like, I need to open this. My friend Bailey was so sweet enough to send me a Super Bowl care package for next Sunday. And so I'm gonna go ahead and roll that clip now while I eat. <laughs> Hello and welcome to what I like to call time traveling with Rachel. So I'm filming this a day before I'm vlogging for the Grammys. So I've decided I'm going to put this in the Grammys vlog. Who doesn't love a little unboxing? I'm too excited to wait to open these even till tomorrow. So my friend Bailey is the sweetest person and she has been a Chiefs fan for the longest time. Um, she did not bandwagon. So I am so excited because she was like, I have had the best time talking, you know, with you um, and like, you know, just celebrating the Chiefs. She's like, I need to send you a Super Bowl package. And so I have said Super Bowl package and I am just so like, oh my God, <laughs> Bailey, what the, <laughs> she got me a little like, can cooler and it says chiefs and this is chiefs kingdom i'm so excited for the super bowl she got me little plates <laughs> and napkins oh my god sorry if you can hear my cat like crunching her food oh whoa, 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 whoa oh my god Oh my, she wrote me so many notes. She's, <laughs> Rach, crazy don't, they don't have Super Bowl cards, so don't mind my index cards. Here's a few things to help you celebrate the Super Bowl Taylor's version. I have loved every second of losing our minds over Tavis' love story. Love you so much. Go Chiefs. Karma is a guy on the Chiefs. Love, Bailey. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my God. I adore Bailey with everything in me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. This shirt. Oh my God. I'm so glad. She got me a shirt that said karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me.
Bailey, I love you. Um, think of our Nashville hug. Think of like how tight we hugged. That's the hug I'm sending you right now. Thank you so freaking much. I, I'm so thankful. So since I'm so excited for the Super Bowl, I placed an, an order on Fanatics because I saw this beanie and I got really excited. Um, so, oh my God. It got here in two days, mind you. Um, it is adorable. I bought this, it looks like this. Oh my God. Catch me wearing this next Sunday. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. And then you can also wear it on just like the Super Bowl side, right? Like, it's standing more up right now, but. <laughs> I am just having a great time with this. I'm having a great time. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Bailey. And. I am ready for the Super Bowl now. Um, that beanie is so cute. I am obsessed with the shirt that Bailey gave me. That is so cute. Trust me. I, I, I'm so excited. Okay, back to the vlog. So I bought my cat this bed yesterday and she has not jumped in it once. Not once. So that's lovely. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I am sitting here with the premiere ceremony on, just waiting for it to start, and I'm just on edge. Like, I'm sitting here, like, on freaking edge. Like, Taylor has the potential. I'm so glad her award's first, by the way. Um, but Taylor has the potential of winning her 13th Grammy in quite literally minutes from now, and I fear there will be tears feeling very emotional. Um, Midnight's just means like the world to me. As you guys know, and all of Taylor's music like means the freaking world to me. Midnight's is just really special. Like, I feel like it's, I've said this many times, but I feel like it's just like the album of a freaking lifetime. Like it has those aspects to it that are so like real and so real life, but it also has those aspects of life that, you know, are self love and, deserving better and just bettering yourself and I just feel like this album is for every situation and it's just it's just the best, best pop duo group performance I'm scared Lana Del Rey featuring John Batiste Labyrinth featuring Billie Eilish Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. Please, 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 And the Grammy goes to Ghost in the Machine. When Taylor Swift wrote the lyric, will it be enough if I could never give you peace? She was talking about us loving her. Okay? End of story. Because I just decided okay, I'm gonna take this time to take like a 45 minute nap. And I fell asleep for about a solid, I'd say 30 minutes. Well, I had my phone next to me because I had my alarm set and uh, Emma texted me, Taylor sights down. I, I sprung up and her sight is in fact down. Jasmine and I were having a very nice nap. However, that nap is now over. What do you think? What are we having for dinner? I mean, I know what you're having, but what is mommy having? This cat, I love her to death. Like, this is my bestie. I'm gonna go ahead and like shower and all that because the red carpet starts very soon. And guys, I'm just like, I, I. <laughs> the hell's happening i guess at this point i just need to have my phone like this in front of my face because i i went to clean like jasmine's litter box and just like you know straighten up 
Well, wouldn't you freaking know? Wouldn't you freaking know that now Taylor Nation is liking tweets about it not being like a glitch, like there's something definitely up with the site. Um, and it's like somebody posted like, um, I don't think this is an error. Taylor's definitely up to something and Taylor Nation freaking liked it. Okay. All right. So here's what, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get in the shower, take a nice shower and the red carpet's starting soon. So we're just going to hope that Taylor doesn't move by the time I get out of the shower. She can wait a good 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. So I made some dinner. I showered. I have my midnight's t-shirt on. Um, I made some butter noodles and I made some like broccoli and stuff with it. I didn't know what I wanted. And that was kind of like the go-to meal. Um, I feel like veggies and noodles is like a good, like, I don't know what I want meal. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting here watching the red carpet and waiting for Taylor to arrive. I'm just so excited. Somebody said that the site's back up and then some people are also, it's back up for me, but some people are getting like a password. So nobody knows what's going on as per usual. This dress is my favorite so far. This is Allison Russell. This is the most beautiful dress. Everything about the, well, um, everything about that look was gorgeous. She's wearing, look, it looks like, like a white corset and her hair is off to the side. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's wearing a white, Emma, and she's wearing a choker. She's wearing a full white dress. It's so gorgeous. <gasps> oh, and black gloves. Please. <gasps> it's so good. It's so good. Oh my God, Tree looks so good too. Like, okay, Tree. Damn, look at that train. Oh, it's so great. Look at Tree. Tree's serving too. Like, I'm stuck on Tree. Look at the slit. Oh. Oh. My God. Oh, she looks so freaking good. Okay, Queen. Her eyebrows are slaying. Can I say this is one of my favorite looks? Her freaking, her the dress, the freaking fracking dress. The freaking fracking dress. Best pop solo performance. P.S. Trevor Noah, hilarious. Love Trevor Noah. Oh my God. Okay, this could be Taylor's 13th Grammy if she wins. My heart is pounding right now. This is best pop performance, I think. Please, 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 please. Best pop solo performance, please. Anti-hero Taylor Swift. Flowers, Marley Okay, we're on best pop vocal album. Oh my god. <laughs> I just flung my blanket. Oh god. Oh god. Karma is the cat, correct?
13th Grammy was just won. Jasmine, I'm so sorry, baby girl. Sorry. Lord Jesus. Which is that my brand new album <laughs> comes out April 19th. It's called, it's called the Torture Poets Department. I'm going to go ahead and post the cover right now backstage. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Is it out? Yes. Where? I don't know. I was just sent it to you. Oh my god! Hey guys. Um, my marbles? They're lost. Um, I've pulled out my bracelet making stuff. Um, I, I literally muted the TV. I just needed a moment to like the tortured poets department, like, you guys, you guys. Well, this era looks like it's gonna be black and white. Um, I just, I, I wish I had brain cells. However, I don't at the moment. Um, I am genuinely, I'm genuinely floored, shocked. If you had told me this morning that TS11, we'd have the name by T of TS11, the cover of TS11, by the end of the day, I would have said, you're hilarious. However, here we are. Um, I, uh, I, um, as we can tell, Rachel has no brain cells. So I'm just gonna sit here and make some bracelets because we still have song of the year and album of the year and yet oh my god oh my god guys it's time for song of the year and also i think i'm out of my pearl beads <gasps> wait no they're right here i'm so smart i put them in the corner i'm scared she's never won it oh i See, I thought that they were gonna win for this. Her and Phineas. Oh my God, I'm so happy for her. She really, she really, this is an amazing song. Like her performance gave me the chills, the absolute chills. Like her voice is breathtaking with this. Oh my God, I'm so happy. This, this, if Taylor wasn't gonna win, I wanted Billy to take it. And we have the first official Tortured Poets Department bracelet. Freaking Celine Dion is the one presenting and let me tell you when Celine walked out I was like near tears like Please I need midnights like I <laughs> But it, it made me so happy to see Celine cuz oh my god Emma I'm <sighs> Come on I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up yeah, me too, Celine. Please. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!
Thanks, thank you. Um, I want to say, <laughs> I get to work with one of my best friends, who is not only one of my best friends, but also a once-in-a-generation producer. That's Jack Antonoff. I'm so lucky. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. And an engineer, Laura Sisk, I want to say thank you to Sir Vendania. Sam Dew, Soundwave, Lana Del Rey, who is hiding. And I think so many female artists would not be where they are and would not have the inspiration they have if it weren't for the work that she's done. I think she's a legacy artist, a legend in, in her prime right now. I'm so lucky to know you and to be your friend. Um, I would love to tell you that this is the best moment of my life, but I, I feel this happy when I finish a song or when I crack the code to a bridge that I love or when I'm shot listing a music video or when I'm rehearsing with my dancers or my band or getting ready to go to Tokyo to play a show. For me, the, the award is the work. All I want to do is keep being able to do this. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. It makes me unbelievably blown away that it makes some people happy who voted for this award too. All I want to do is keep doing this. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do what I love so much. Mind blown. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Oh my God. Not just something more, we're making history. The first person to an album of the year four times, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Holy We've shit. Had a wonderful time. We'd love having you to play us out. Please, thank you. Holy shit. Show. And give it up one more time. <laughs> I have like tears in my eyes, but I'm also like laughing out of like just pure happiness. Like, holy shit, Emma. Damn. Yeah. Thank, thank God. That's all I can say. And Celine Dion presented it to her. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> I, I'm i like, I'm gagged right now. Oh. Oh. You guys, when I tell you, I've never been so excited to the point where I felt like I was going to hurl. Oh my god, like. The absolute euphoria, euphoria, the absolute euphoria I felt when Celine Dion said Taylor Swift, like, I, oh my god, I was absolutely, like, heaving, oh my god. First of all, there's a lot to unpack, and I think the best option for this is that I, I, decompress and then I finish this vlog um tomorrow and you know she might go to an after party or whatever anyways so I might have more to add so I will talk to you guys when I can collect my thoughts because a lot happened tonight but let me tell you I'm fixated right now currently right now number one we have TS11 coming in April number two Midnight's album of the year. Number three, Celine coming out to present that in general was like, oh my god. I am so freaking happy. <laughs> it's the next day, and let me just tell you, I am exhausted, but as backwards as it sounds, I am, I missed this feeling like for Taylor, like being like swifty tired, if that makes sense. Like you've just stayed up too late. I was sitting in bed eating ice cream at one o'clock in the morning just because I was so excited and I needed to like <laughs> I needed to de decompress because like I'm serious you guys like I was so overwhelmed last night like we had first let's break it down Taylor's outfit was one of my favorite outfits ever I loved how it was a corset in the back but a beautiful white dress and I loved 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 the details and the gloves like I, the little clock choker, oh my God. The details were just 
immaculate. Um, so <laughs> that was just, just beautiful. And then she won pop vocal album and that's when we found out about TS11, which like throughout the day I was kind of thinking, that's just not black and white. It's more like a SEPA or however you say that filter name. Um, but like, I just was talking about my mom the other night. We were in Olive Garden and I said to my mom, I was like, she has been in and out of the studio. Like, even when she was touring in the US, that girl was in and out of the studio, like, you know, between shows, between cities. And I was like, I sincerely think TS11 is coming this year. Well, Rachel, you're right. <laughs> and even in my predictions video, I said that, um, I went back and looked at my list last night and I was like, oh my God. Like, that's so crazy. But anyways, um, to think that Taylor's been working on this for two years is insane. And I can't wait to see what she has to say on April 19th. I think that we are going to be in for a treat, as always. Um, so yeah, all that happened. And it's always so much fun to see Taylor, like, dancing in the crowd. She's always so supportive of everybody. Um... And I just want to say, like, when Taylor won Album of the Year, people are saying, like, she dissed Celine Dion, like, she didn't go running up to her. First of all, Celine has health issues, um, and so that's why it was also so moving that she showed up in general, because, like, she's been struggling so much, and it was so beautiful to see Celine walk out. There's a picture of Celine and Taylor backstage. Like, obviously, people are just trying to make bad blood, if you will, out of nothing. Um, which I think is such a shame. But anyways, Taylor is the first person to ever win Album of the Year for the fourth time. And let me just say, that was in freaking in insane. Insane. And you guys know how much I love Midnight's. And I just feel so, so grateful. And so, like, the gratitude I have towards that album. Like, it is an album of a freaking lifetime. And I just, I love it so much i'm so happy <laughs> that the recording academy agrees and like i will just like want to spend forever celebrating that album so even though we are moving on to another era trust me i will always hold midnight so close to my heart and yeah i'm so excited to create new memories though like oh my freaking gosh <sighs> like the tortured poets department like that is an insane name like back up and just like we need to talk about like that name like that's insane um but after she announced that like it was pure chaos like we were all on the site in 45 minute queues like trying to get the the collector's edition of the cd which ended up selling out and so everything was a whirlwind i'm sitting there making bracelets but my brain was just scrambled actually <laughs> i have on the bracelet i made one of the bracelets i made last night it says all's fair and Taylor says all's fair in love and poetry. So I made a all's fair bracelet and I think it's really cute. Anyways, so I am ready for this new era. But um, yeah, you guys, it was just so much fun and I'm so incredibly proud of Taylor. 14 time Grammy award winner Taylor Swift sounds so good. But I'm very tired right now. So I'm going to go take a nice shower and get comfy for the evening take a nap and then probably edit this vlog for you guys just because like I'm so excited to like share my excitement with you guys but I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video entertained you in some way thanks for coming along with the ride um we clowned over rep tv but we went on another journey so <laughs> I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you yes yeah, you in the next one bye guys